What's going down, peoples? Uh, Y'all already know what time it is. Welcome uh, to the Boxing TPs. Uh, on Clubhouse. Um, I'm waiting uh, for my brother, 503 Lion. Y'all make sure y'all check me out on YouTube at the Jab Jamboree. Oh, okay, now I know how to pin. All right, cool. See, I ain't even know how to pin the link before. I ain't even know how to pin the link before. I'm waiting for my bro 503 line. Where is my bro 503 line? We looking for you, champ. Alright, so basically, uh, salute to ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to my peoples and my guys. Look alive, look alive. It's your boy, Ak Reacher, with another episode of the Boxing TPs. This is the Fight Night Recap. So we had a lot of interesting fights going down over the weekend. And I got to admit, I was entertained. I was entertained. Um, Katie Taylor versus Karen Cabrajo, uh from Argentina. Uh, I actually scored that fight. I think I had an eight to two. So I'll give Katie Taylor her credit. You know, she kind of pitched the shutout. That's cool and everything. Um, uh, Karen Cabrajo, uh, she just seemed like she wasn't on the same level as Katie Taylor. Katie Taylor boxed very well. She boxed on the outside sometimes. She slipped back in on the inside. You know, so 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 that definitely was cool. That was definitely cool. Um, I just think Katie Taylor is really comfortable right now. Katie Taylor is too comfortable right now for me. She's too comfortable right now. And I just feel as though she's not willing to take chances. The Amanda Serrano fight was cool, and we appreciate that. That fight was very cool, and we appreciate that. But what's next? You staying at that division, you not trying to take a chance to move up to 140 and 147. I mean, you built like a man, and I'm not trying to get at Katie Taylor as a person. I'm not trying to get at Katie Taylor as a person, but I'm just saying, 
like as far as boxing wise, like are you going like move up and try to put it all on the line? I don't think we asking too much. Okay, you undisputed at lightweight. That's great. All right, what about all the divisions above and, and like, what is we doing? Or well, fuck it, go down and fight Amanda Serrano. What Amanda Serrano fight at, like, 130 or something? Fuck it, go down there. Give it a rematch. Fight for one of the belts down there. I don't even care at this point. Give me something. Because I feel like a lot of boxers do that. They'll give you one really great opponent. And then they'll just chill out. They'll give you like an in-between guy. That had been losing. And then got to win. Or something like that. And then. And then you beat them. And then you good. Come on man. I ain't an idiot. This shit is crazy, bro. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. Like, she doesn't have to fight anybody. But Clarissa Shields got to take all the risks. Clarissa Shields got to... Take all the risks. Carissa Shields did her thing. Put it all on the line with big punches. Put it all on the line. Three time undisputed. And y'all got the nerve to put Katie Taylor over. She was two-time, and y'all still put Katie Taylor over her. But after this win with somebody that beat her in the amateurs, y'all can't even say nothing. Even though I still do want to see Savannah Marshall in the ring, but that does kind of prove Clarissa Shields' theory. With the opponents that she was fighting. It kind of. I got to. I got to keep it a stack. It kind of was showing right there. It definitely was showing right there. And everybody should grasp that. And pay very close attention to that. Because that was one of. Clarissa Shields main vocal points. In that whole build up. The whole build-up was you know she isn't really fighting anybody, but she's knocking all these girls out, and I'm sitting here, I'm fighting real like live dogs in there. So Clarissa Shields, in my mind, she can't do no wrong. She's probably number one pound for pound, male or female, in my mind right now. Somebody going to have to do something spectacular. 
I don't care if the guys' divisions is more stacked and stuff like that. There's still some live dogs in there with girls. I'll, I'll put it this way. I'll put it this way. And I love you, Clarissa, baby. And we're going to move back to Katie Taylor, and then I'm going to touch on the other fights. I'm going to put it this way. The only way Clarissa can't just fight anybody to me, in my mind, is if Clarissa ends up seeing Salute 503 line. I hear you. Uh, 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 let me just make this point, and I'm going uh, to definitely tell the people what's going down and it, where, where they can find you at. Uh, a lot of people going to be checking the replays, but that's cool, and we're going to also upload this one on the Jab Jamboree uh, YouTube channel. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe. Um, if my Patterson sister, Shadeja Green, which I got to go back to the YouTube uh, prelims broadcast for Jake Paul. Salute to Jake Paul for putting Shadeja on the card. Shadeja, drink, Shadeja Green come on the come up. That's the only way I think Clarissa got to take a challenge to me. Outside of Shadeja Green, I don't see nobody else. I love McCaskill. I love Alicia Bumgarner. But, and I even got respect for Katie Taylor. But Clarissa got it right now. Uh, I want to introduce my co-host, 503 Lion, just stepped into the box and uh, TPs. What's going down, bro? And tell the people where they can find you at and all that good stuff. Yo, can you hear me good, bro? Can you hear me? You sound a little low. You sound low? Yeah. I got, I got, I got my, uh, I got my earphones in, bro. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna be too, too low or not. But yeah, man, it's your boy Five Hundred Three Line. Man. I hear that no, louder than you. <laughs> Hello. Mhm. Mm Can you hear me? I hear you, Five. Yeah. I'm about to close my window. It was a little muggy in here. I'm going to close it so I can hear you better. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. It's your boy 503 Line, man. Y'all already know this. I'm in the Boxing TP Clubhouse with my brother, Young Act Reacher, Jab Jamboree, Jab Jabbertron, all that good shit. What what, what we speaking on tonight, man? Oh, we going to do the whole recap, and then we going to – y'all make sure y'all check us out. On 503's channel. Um, I, I want to ask you how you felt about Katie Taylor's performance if you got to watch her versus Karen Cabrera. Cabrera Hall. Sorry. Nah, bro. I didn't watch the fight. I ain't watched that fight. You know what I'm saying? That, that, was, that was a little bit too early for me. I had went to work. Um, but I, but I did, Oh, okay. I did... I did I did see her call out. Um, I did see her call out uh, Serrano again. And she said she want to fight Serrano in Ireland. Oh, okay. So she does want to fight Serrano again. Katie Taylor is so motherfucking accomplished. Like she, she in it for the money. You know what I'm saying? And, and, I mean, and, and that's a legacy fight for her, too, with Serrano. You know what I'm saying? Because they made history. Or uh, history. You know what I'm saying? As Clarissa Shields would like us to say. History. 
you know what I'm saying, to the women out there, you know, women empowerment all day, uh, you know what I'm saying, I, I think, I think, goddamn, I think, you know, Katie Taylor will go down as one of the greats, especially, you know what I'm saying, for her people over there in Europe, you know what I'm saying, in their, in their European demographic. Uh, so Serrano is like, like, like her biggest rival right now. I'm saying that that's definitely something I watch again. If, if, if Got to love five hundred three. He's an honest man. Yeah. He's a good man. Yeah. Even if yeah. even if he feel like the cards ain't right, <laughs> he's still gonna be fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she and she Deja, she looking good, man. I like her. I see why people is real big on her right I now. I told you. I told y'all a minute ago. Before Steel started going on this hiatus, she's from my dad hood. Mm. She's from Patterson. From Passaic, New Jersey. Okay. Make sure you share this 503. I'm, I'm putting it Share the room, now. please. Share the room. Um, let me ask you. I gave um Katie Taylor her flowers, but I just feel like five oh three. To be fair with you, my brother. I don't think that she's taking enough chances for a guy of me and your intelligence. Who? You being my peer. I'm not going to lead you in the wrong direction. What do you feel about that? I'm talking about Katie Taylor. Is she taking chances? She just, she just beat Serrano, bro. What you talking about? I thought she beat. Ah, uh, but but that's I uh, see five hundred three. But you don't get what I'm saying, though. Uh, salute to my bro Cadillac Red for jumping in. You don't, you 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 not getting what I'm saying, though, bro. Like, okay, she won this fight against Karen Cabrahal. You know what I mean from Argentina. That's cool. I had an eight two. Uh, uh, Katie Taylor pitches shut out. Okay, now you want to fight Amanda Serrano? I'm not mad at the rematch, and I even and I even said, but I just want her to take chances. If you're not gonna fight Amanda Serrano, if that fight don't fall through, then I need you to move up and get out of your comfort zone. Even Lomachenko oh, did that. Oh, oh, I That's that. what I'm saying. Like, I got to keep it a stack. Even though I don't even like how they be glorifying Lomachenko, I got to keep it real, though. He still moved up and took chances, though. He ain't stay certain because he was crazy at, I got to admit, at 126 and 130. It was looking real loopy in there for dudes when he was there but I just gotta keep it I'm I'm just keeping it real like Katie Taylor like when are you gonna take a chance in the dark you been at 135 for a minute boo boo come on let's let, let's make a move that's what it is so, so you yeah, that's you that's how I'm feeling tired, 503 of, she need to start chasing fucking dominating. ambulances you tired of her dominating, hugging. No, so no, it's me. not about. All right, all right, all right. All right go ahead, five or right. three. Go ahead, cook. See what you doing? I see what you doing. I see what you. You want to go fight old McKenzie? See you niggas. You niggas. Y'all love putting all these expectations on the ops, right? But what is the expectations at for Cyber and Shorty and McKenzie? Cause last time I checked, she was out here goddamn me clout chasing her and her, her and her husband slash trainer 
slash manager, whatever the fuck he is, the the, the Ramos Ramos kid, you know what I'm saying? He was they caught chasing off Clarissa now. You know what I'm saying? She going after the big fish. She want she want Clarissa to come down and fight her. But you want Amanda Serrano, I mean you want Katie Taylor to go up go up a weight class and fight her for what? When when McCaskill got her eyes on on the globe. It don't make sense what you're saying right now, bro. I love you, you my brother, but it don't make sense. Nah, C C five, man. What, what, what he what he trying to say, you know what I'm saying? Salute to the family too. Salute to the brothers and shit. What's up, Red? Go uh, ahead, tell them where they can find you at, Red, before you uh uh explain your point and keep your point, please. Shit, you can find me on YouTube, man. Uh, uh Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Supreme Beast Boxing Talk, man. You know what I'm saying? 415 Eastern Standard Time, 315, 315 Central. We going live with it. We bullshitting on the beltway, man. You know what I'm saying? Come fuck with us for shit show. Uh uh. Yeah, man. Um I think and, and, and I agree with what you were saying too, 503. So I I'm gonna start off with, with with sideburns. You know what I'm saying? I disagree with her clout chase and Clarissa. And then moving down to fight the champion, the unified champion at 140. You know what I'm saying? Fighting the unified champion at 140 does nothing for you. And that's what she about to do in her next fight. You know what I'm saying? So she's actually moving backwards. So I agree with you, 503. We need to put pressure on her her too. If you're going to be undisputed and you're going to be out that's here. That's her boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be out here champion for women's sports. You know what I'm saying? You definitely got to step up. You know what I'm saying? But in that same breath, I say the same shit that that act was saying about Katie Taylor. Like, Katie, young, you've been at 35 forever. And the only time you get in a big fight is when you pulling somebody up. Like, let's not get it fucked up. Amanda Serrano jumped up two weight classes for that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I need you to, you already established dominance at 135. Can't nobody fuck with you. Let me see you move up to 140. I need, who, I need. Who, who was that 140 for her to fight? If you don't mind me asking. They got, they got, they got the, uh, the Native American chick. I believe she unified. And then they got the, the white chick that's, that, uh, uh, McCaskill about to fight that's unified. And McCaskill. You know what I'm saying? So, so Katie Taylor could go get a unified belt. So McCaskill you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I'm. Th- this how I'm looking at it, five. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to Katie Taylor, I need you to establish dominance in another weight class, cause that's what Clarissa Shields doing. And people trying to compare you, and you don't mind. You don't mind mentioning yourself in the same breath with her, and she going undisputed in in three weight classes. I ain't saying you need to do all that, cause I know you can't. I know you're not as good as her, but. You know what I'm saying? I think that she could do something at 140. Goddamn. Can you go unify that 140, then go run back to 35? You know what I'm saying? Can you can you lose the weight and fight somebody at 130 and not drag them up? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I need I need that. You better talk, Red. Me. Talk your shit. I, talk I, your shit. Saying, when when it comes to her, I need that type of action. That's all I'm saying. Because the quote is doing that type of shit. And if you're going to be in second place and you want to say it's a close second to the quote, I'm going to need that action. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? And same thing with, with uh, 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 Cruiser Zern. What you going to do? You undisputed. I see you out there, you know what I'm saying, halfway calling for fights. Is you going to make a fight? Because I know you got a, you got a big task at hand with Shadeja Green. What you going to do about that? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I'm on all of them. It, it ain't going to be no go undisputed and chillax, especially when the group making these moves and setting the bar so high. See, I see. I I, I love that. So, salute to Tay Tay in, in the room as well. Salute to you, sister. I see y'all steady hollering of woke, of woke, of woke. 503, I can't hear you. What you say, 503? You sound low. I'm telling him, bro, like, you ain't got no good Bluetooth. Yeah, you sound real low, Five. Y'all can't hear me at all? I mean, I can hear you, but you just sound real low. I sound red. All right. 
You sound good, eh? Okay. You, you got your you got your headphones in, bro. Who me? No, I'm like yeah. right in. I'm 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 like on my phone, like it's a speakerphone. Though. Yeah, your shit red is good. Gonna, I can hear red I'm clearly. Gonna take these shits off, bro. Hold on, hold on. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. That's what I was saying, though. You know what I'm saying? I just want. I don't want the game to get stalled out by these motherfuckers. Uh, uh, what about uh, what about now? Can y'all hear me better? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, you sound real good. Yeah, I had to, I had my headphones in, bro. That's why. Okay, I, I mean, I like I say, bro, I, I like how you niggas is steady using the quote. You know what I'm saying? As as a measuring stick, but she the quote for mean, a reason, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. I let you say. I let okay, you get okay, your okay, shit okay. out. Okay. I just want to say this. The quote is the quote for a reason. G- greatest woman of all time. She sit at the top of the mountain by herself. We know. Fuck what ESPN.com say or Mike Cavendish, all these fuck niggas say in the industry. We know that she's at the top of the motherfucking women's boxing. You know what I'm saying? Katie Taylor, you know what I'm saying, is half, maybe not even half, maybe about 20% of what the quote is. You know what I'm saying? I think that Katie Taylor is at the end of her motherfucking me high haters, bro. She old as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And she want to get another payday with Serrano. She knows Serrano is going to bring that money. She want to do the shit in her hometown to sell out in her hometown. And I don't see nothing wrong with it. Y- y'all a- y'all asking for her to do quote like shit, bro. She not. She not. She not on that level. She not. She went life and death with Serrano. So imagine her going to 140 or fighting a McCaskill or something like that, bro. That shit is going gonna, gonna to look bad. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna look bad to me. I I, I just I, I feel what y'all are saying, but you know what I'm saying. I, I feel like it'll be a better situation with goddamn uh, Alicia Bumgarner or you know what I'm saying, Michaela Mayer or Desert Franchon. You know what I'm saying, Desert. You know what I'm saying, them type girls, Shadeja Green type. You know what I'm saying, not Katie Taylor, bro. I'm sorry, like she just. She she on her last hoorah, bro. That that's just my personal opinion, but you know what I'm saying. It is what it is, man. Act hey, what, what 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 we getting into, man? What 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 we came here to talk about? Because I know it ain't just Katie Taylor. Oh, of course not, of course not. But I needed as much content as I could get. <laughs> so I ain't gonna stop y'all. And, and, you know, y'all we all busy and doing stuff. So if y'all cook on the TPs. You know what I mean? We going to leave it there. I ain't even going to stop nobody. Right on. Right on. You know what I mean? It ain't like YouTube. YouTube, you know, I kind of chop up and I want it to be an hour. You know what I'm saying? But on here, nah, yeah, 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 I got free. It's a free for all. Oh. Um, okay, so we got done. Matter of fact, though, before I get off it, Red, did you get to watch the fight? We'll fight. Uh, Katie Taylor and Karen. Uh, no. Okay. No, I did not. Okay, so, so, all right, so I, I will move on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I want, I wanted, the only reason I wanted, I'll do one point something out, though. The only reason Katie Taylor, you know what I'm saying, get mentioned with the quote is because that's what the, the, the suits like to bring up. So when, when we get to talking about her, I know it's a far, it, it, it's a far distance between first and second place. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with, with my brother 503 when it comes to that. But the bitch is still in second. And if you're going to be in second place, I'm going to need you to do some second place shit. I ain't saying go undisputed at 140. I'm not saying go undisputed at 130. I'm saying move to the weight class, be the champion, and then go back. God damn. Am I asking for too much? I'm just saying, bro, if she if she ain't if she ain't if she ain't did it early in her career, bro, she ain't finna do it <laughs> in the final stages and chapters of her career. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I just don't see it happening. Now maybe I'm a, 
So you telling me that the, the thick neck bitch can't put on no weight late in her career? She about to touch menopause and all that shit. Nah, bro. Cause she, if she would have did it, she would have been. If she wanted to do it, she would have been did it. You know what I'm saying? She called an Serrano again. She ain't like, like, bro. The expectations of, of of that demographic is different than us. You know what I'm saying? All our favorite fighters, they 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 got to go above and beyond the, the the measuring stick. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Look at look at all the guys we fuck with: Shakur Stevenson, Tank Davis, the Charlo brothers, uh, uh, Wilder. You know what I'm saying? All these dudes gotta, you know what I'm saying? They they gotta be the baddest motherfuckers all day, every day. Clarissa Shields gotta go to three, four, five different weight classes and, and, and dominate. You know what I'm saying? I just think we asking too much of the white of the white girl. I just, I just, I, that's not in, in their world. Her being a champion and undisputed for five years, six years at 135, they all right with that. But in our realm, how we look at shit, no, bitch, that ain't enough. And it's true which, what both of y'all are saying. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think it, it, it would be more likely to see a bum gardener do it. You know what I'm saying? A McCaskill do it. A Shadeja Green do it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Shanisa Estrada can move up a weight class or two and probably do it. You know what I'm saying? Because she's fighting at the, at, the, at the lowest weight class. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 yeah, Shadeja, Shadeja do look good though. I like, I like her. I'm, a, I'm gonna put, it, I'm gonna put it to you like this: It made me laugh when you said, "Can we get a white girl to break?" Man, that white girl better step it up and bring it on, just like the the yes, white, boy, the white girl Disney movies. Shit, you got the game fucked up out here in these streets, bitch. <laughs> That's all I had, Act Man. We could, we could go to the next drink. Okay. Did we see any Jojo Diaz action? No. Yeah, yeah, I seen a little bit of that. Yeah, me I, too. I, I watched. Some, I watched some clips of it. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real though, bro. Like, did he lose? Did, yeah, he lost, bro. Did but the fight didn't. I was making sure because I thought the homie won. Did no, nah, yeah, Zapato, Zapato won, but okay, like, William Zapato, all right. Yeah, but like. We we was on we was in the in the backstage joint last night watching the fights. I ended up falling asleep, but from what I was seeing, it was five O's. Yeah, bro, I I I tapped out, bro. I tapped out. I I told Red. I I told Red. Yeah, bro. I told Red. I say Red. I don't want to watch no Roby Ramirez, bro. I told him that, and the nigga played the fight anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, that nigga put me to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Was, I had to go back this morning. It was going to be some Sakum Sakum Mexican machismo macho man warrior type shit going on, man. But they, they, they was telling me JoJo didn't want to smoke with, with Cepeda. He was bagging up and moving around. I told y'all. Yo, nigga painted him. He painted him. He painted him. I thought he was gonna get knocked out, bro. Yeah, I I thought Cepeda was gonna knock JoJo out, but JoJo wasn't really engaging with with bro like that for real. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, interaction. Yeah. Nah, bro. He he won by decision though, man. The zone. That's why I say, bro. The zone is falling off, bro. The zone is falling off, man. Well, with no pain, you know what I'm saying? See, you're not dead. You're breaking up, Bob. You're breaking up, Bob. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. No, no, we can't hear you. Yo, um... Stay ready. Uh, yes, sir. Tell the people where they can find you at, big bro. Right now, 
Y'all best bet is to go to Ringside View. Uh, interview with Ronnie Shields just went up today. And the interview with Kent Cruz just went up today. Regis Progray's interviews is up. Uh, Justin Paldo and Raymond Ford's interview should be up this uh, Sunday, Monday, because they fight next week. They're already done. And uh, no, 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 they fight on the twelfth on the uh, Montana Love card, right? I said, yeah, next week. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, bit. I yeah, thought Montana Love was on the undercard. Thank God. I thought I yeah. missed him. No, no, we got. I just did the Raymond Ford interview. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm yeah. Tiger Johnson, when you uh, go, I'm Mac. I know you can make it happen. You front. We can make what happen? The Tiger Johnson. Bro, Tiger got to come back to Houston, man. I'm not fit to go to Ohio right now. Oh, okay, uh, okay, a, okay, okay. Give me a minute, I and I'll start back. Nah, nah, my bad. I thought he, he'd he be do, coming but he, like he, that. he do. He hasn't been down here though. Mac, Mac that, okay. that's two weeks. That's two weeks until the twelve, too. No, nigga, this is this is the this this week. This this is the first day of the new week, Sunday. Next week, yeah, yeah. but next yeah. weekend, next weekend I, is the fifth. Is the fifth? No, next week, next week, bro. That's this weekend. This is the first. Yeah, day. yeah. He talking about. Yeah, he talking about. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, okay, I, okay, I see okay, what okay, you're okay, saying, bro. Oh, yeah, it, it, it confused me too. I'm like, yeah, he don't off. fight this week. He fight this week. Y'all, y'all running off a of fiscal calendar, baby. I'm, I'm running off the regular calendar. I can't do the fiscal. Nah, that nigga, we that nigga, on Monday. We that, start on that, Monday. He, he run off a of NASA calendar. No, NASA calendar <laughs> run off the of fiscal calendar. I don't give a damn about none of that. I get he goes in on Sunday. <laughs> Go hit on Sunday. I run, right. I run off the real calendar. Sunday through Saturday. Saturday is the day of the Sabbath. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, but shit, we we still we still got some um some goddamn some good fights this weekend too. Now, yes, y'all, y'all, y'all got some great fights coming up. Also, oh yeah, uh, yo. So um, I, man. I, I talked to I talked to some, uh, I will have a cool boy Steph interview coming up soon. He should be back. He, you know, he just moved to Houston. He'll be back. In a couple of weeks, and um, also we uh, I'm I'm interviewing Shakur again this week, so yeah, I'm, I'm I've been working hard to get y'all these interviews. Y'all make sure y'all go tap on the, on the new page, Ringside Views, and I'm still gonna start back posting a few things like the workout videos and shit like that is gonna be on Stay Ready Boxing for and, and the Instagram, so y'all go check that out. All right, I gotta get your Ringside Views channel. I ain't even realized on um. I was gonna ask you before, you know, even though we moved on, did you get to catch the Katie Taylor fight or no? No, I didn't see none of that fight. Okay, okay. But I did Damn. hear, it was, I heard it was dope. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, we was talking about JoJo. Did you get to see any of JoJo? Yes, I know sir. It was a lot I watched going JoJo on. get the brakes beat off of him and watched it again today. Okay. What you think? Just, Explain to the people what you felt went down. And... I, well, I told y'all exactly what was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen, and I, that's what I felt. You know, um, I thought, to be honest with you, I thought uh, Zapata was going to knock him out. Oh, and, and I was wrong last night. Remember I told you guys that this fight was at 140? No, William Zapata moved down to 135, which is shocking. But, yeah, that fight was at 135 last night. And uh, but he but William still looks strong at 135 like he did at 140. So he just didn't get the knockout. He beat. I think I think he had JoJo timid in that fight. JoJo looked more timid. He now don't get it wrong. He had he had his moments. Like I seen the combinations where he you know he he came in and, and he had his moments trying to get his get back. But by, but by that time you had already took so much punishment because William didn't William didn't wait and do no fill arounds. He went at you from the start from the very beginning of that fight from from round one on, and it, it he uh, JoJo was looking more in the beginning trying not to get knocked out. So I think that's kind of what what kept William from getting that knockout or that stoppage because he was trying not to get knocked out and he was only punching back. And re- like retaliation, so he can and, and showing action, so the judge wouldn't stop the fight. But he was still, but he did work a little bit. JoJo really, um, he that's not the same JoJo we used to seeing. I think JoJo's best days was at one thirty. Cause moving up to one thirty five, he's not looking good, and I don't think he's gonna he's gonna fare well at one thirty five against any top top contenders. 
uh, Williams and Prater is ranked in the top ten right now, and I think I think if anything, JoJo should move back down to one thirty and try to compete for some of those vacant titles because right now at one thirty five, he can't not, make it. Not, that, huh? that motherfucker can't make it. That's discipline. He can make it. Go hire a nutritionist and be disciplined with yourself. Because at one thirty five, he need to hire make. you because that shit ain't happening. He not you hiring you on a no meat diet because it ain't happening. They can't I'm afford sorry. me. So. Not even in the parallel universe. It ain't happening. Nah. They can't afford me, champ. Yeah, like, like, like JoJo, bro. He, uh, I think, like, like, bro, just said, his best days is past him, bro. Like, 135, I mean, it's just, them dudes is just too too good for him. I, li- I like Jojo Diaz, you know what I'm saying? He a, t- he, a, he a good, he a good name, solid dude. Uh, But it, it's been a slippery slope for him, you know what I'm saying? Now, he did get a, the, the win over Fortuna, but, like, Fortuna really ain't got it, like, talking about it no more, for real, for real. Um. And shit, I honestly, man, I want to see Cepeda in the mix. You know what I'm saying? I want to see Cepeda in the mix, man. I think Cepeda versus Isaac Cruz or Roley, you know what I'm saying? A real come forward type style, that will be good for Cepeda. You know what I'm saying? And them belts is finna, them belts is finna get broke down too because, like, 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 I, I know we came here to talk about Lomachenko, but, but we building up to that point. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I see them belts getting broke, bust down. Like like I said on the Billway the other day, you know what I'm saying? I do want to see uh, Isaac Cruz in the mix to get one of those belts. You know what I'm saying? So we're going we, we gonna to see how this shit pan out, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see this 135-pound division. Yeah, man. 135 is really – that's a hot-ass division, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. That shit is dope right now. Yeah, and then even, even with, like – Devin Haney possibly going up to 140. I mean, Shakur Stevenson just got the. You still got um, Tank Davis. You got Isaac Cruz. You got bitch ass Rowley. You, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a bunch of it's, it's a bunch of shit going down at 135 right now. So. Yes, I ain't even gonna lie. Definitely is. Um. Uh. Red, what you think should happen with with Jojo Diaz after this? And what I think so that shit, man, I can't even front, man. Now, uh, man, Jojo, Jojo, man, he need to get he need to get one big fight and get a check, man, and learn how to motherfucker flip that into to what he gonna do after boxing. You know what I'm saying? He need to. Get one one check. You know what I'm saying? One one good check against another top fighter. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a Shakur Stevenson or something. You know what I'm saying? Belts get bust down. He put himself in position for 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 a WBC uh, a title shot. You know, for for the vacant joint with uh because uh, you know he is Mexican. They they put him in there with with Shakur for for that joint right there, and then uh. Yeah, after that, you know what I'm saying, he get his trucking business together. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said, trucking business. He gonna... Yeah, man, that the name, he, he used some of that money, get a CDL, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and you know, JoJo, uh, JoJo Moving Parts and Company, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I want to see something like that, man, because that's the pay to ask with him was like, damn, and JoJo known to give a tough fight. That was not a tough fight. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't mind JoJo losing if he giving out tough fights. That shit was like smooth sailing. I don't like. He need one more payday, man. He need one more payday, and that's it. Hey, let me ask you. Let me ask the room this. Right. I mean, would you would you, would you share, would the y'all... share the room? Share the room. Go ahead, Jim. Yeah, would y'all be interested in seeing? Still, the Ryan Garcia Jojo fight, or no? We need to see. We need to see Ryan and Tank. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I Mac is fucked up. You know, he I don't said care. no. <laughs> Man, I ain't fucking with Mac. Big bad Harvey. Wait, what do you want me? Hey, I, hey hold on. I, I, I'm telling you, I, I've been keeping my same. My my, I, I'm been keeping the same energy for Ryan that I'm always keeping. I'm always keeping. I'm tired of him getting all these getting all these these chances, and he he either not taking them or. Oh, he's just ducking off and, and, and saying somebody clout chasing and then he go fight a bum. I mean, that, that, that's that's why I pose the question. Like, even though, okay, even though yeah, JoJo lost, the same, the same stable, and then he already the, he already jumped out the fight. He didn't want to fight him. They had a contract, and Ryan ducked yeah. out that fight. Why would I want right. to fight again? We, so, we see that we see that JoJo is not the same fighter. So if he take this fight, we he on on the, on the reason he's taking it because. We see and he sees that he's not the same fighter that he was, so now he's not afraid of him. Fight somebody. So that so. Huh? Yeah. Now nah, I was gonna say so. So, so JoJo would be a cherry pick for Ryan. Basically, yeah. is what you're saying. Yes. Damn. Because this, this at one thirty five is not JoJo. JoJo need to go back down to one thirty. Mm. JoJo is not good at one thirty five. He's not gonna fare well at one thirty five. Yeah. I mean, and I'm gonna say this too, like, like Big Bro, what you saying makes sense. That makes sense. And honestly, he had at 135, and he didn't even come close to winning either one of them. Right. I the only the only win he got at 35 is at Fortuna. But I think I think motherfuckers need to make that put the pressure on Ryan. If the Tank Davis fight don't happen, it's only if it, they don't get that fight done. You know what I'm saying? I would say for him to fight um Cepeda. Y'all both on Golden Boy. Y'all both at 140. He just beat JoJo. You didn't beat JoJo. He beat JoJo. That's the fight to make if Ryan and Tank don't happen. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Red, do, do you agree with that? I mean, I know we, we go back and forth about Tank all day, but I mean, how you feel about all this, this Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia shit? Because it's looking like they saying that the fight is almost done. It's, it's, it's they working the shit out. I mean, well, well, well how, how, how can Lake Red feeling about Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis these these days? I mean, you know, if they fight, they fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really, I'm not stressing, man. I'm not stressing Tank. You know what I'm saying? They no damn, that damn Ryan Garcia, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I mean, I know, I know they both uh, uh, trying their hardest to not be boxers and they want to be novelties. So you know, I guess that'll be a, a good novelty fight. I guess. But I know good and goddamn well you ain't talking about them giving up Ryan Garcia to Zepeda. That's stupid. I don't give a damn if they both on the same side of the street, in the same crib, in the same goddamn room. They not going to do no shit like that. Are you crazy, 503? That's Why not, shit. bro? This is just fight. Michigan versus Michigan. When does Golden Boy give a fuck about a good fight? Somebody <laughs> about to fuck up this money? You know that's how they roll. You know what I'm saying? Now, do I think that, that they they should set something like that up? Yeah, but are they going to? Hell no. Hell no. I, I just I just feel like I just feel like we got to bring light to that because it's always pressure on PBC and Al Heyman and and Top Rank and you know they always putting pressure on these other fighters from our demographic. You know what I'm saying? The blacks. You know what I'm saying? On the other side of the street to make this to make these fights. You know what I'm saying? Like the Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, Earl Spence, Crawford, uh, uh, uh Wilder, Andy Ruiz, and Wilder versus the whole heavyweight division and shit. Like it, it's always pressure on Al Heyman and PBC and Top Rank to get these fights. You know what I'm saying? But you got you got dudes on the zone like Eddie Hearn and and uh, Oscar De La Hoya. And, and, and right now, at this current moment, I mean, they're not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? But what, like, what is the zone doing, like, with, on the Golden Boy side? Because one thing I can't say about Eddie, Eddie might not give us every fight that we want. But Eddie has been putting way better content, way better content on the zone than motherfucking Golden Boy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, could we could we agree on that shit? I, I I mean, I'm just saying. 
Oh shit, you went back on y'all. Y'all on mute. What, what, what was the uh, last? I, I agree. I agree. Bro, with you. I was talking like a motherfucker. I, I ain't I even gonna cap. I ain't even gonna cap. Nah, uh, I, 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 I was like, uh, Red, Red didn't hear me. I, Red didn't hear me. I said, uh, is 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 you know, Eddie Hearn putting better content on the zone versus De La Hoya and Golden Boy on the zone. Who's giving us the better content on the zone right now? That's what I said, Red. I don't know if you can hear me now. Yeah, my no, I, I I missed it again. My fault. My fault. Say it one more time. Yeah, no, nah, I said who who who's putting out the better content on the zone right now? Is it Eddie Eddie Hearn and Matro Boxing or Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya? Well, well, I'm gonna have to go with Eddie Hearn because they putting out more content, man. Uh, 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 Oscar don't put out shit. You know what I'm saying? Oscar put out some shit once in the blue boo. You know what I'm saying? Like they over there struggling with their shit. So I'm not going, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going, uh, yeah, yeah. And that's why they don't, it's no pressure for them to fight each other. Too. Cause we, we were saying, shit, why don't Blair the Flair fight Virgil? And they was like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, right. That's a, bro, that's another good fight. That's what I'm and saying. Even, and even, like, um, they, they, damn, they, man, they, damn, uh, that's a good fight. That's a good yeah. fight. We're not, we're not doing none of that shit. They not, they, that's just not how, they, they don't rock like that, bro. They don't get down like that. That's not the that's not they steal up. So that's why they don't get the uh get get flagged for, for not motherfucking doing the right shit. Cause they ain't shit and they'll never do the right shit. We all man, this dude the CEO is in a dress. Motherfucking panty holes and boxing gloves. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Nah, for shit show. Hey, I, stay ready. I, 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 I hear old conversations of uh, are we going to tell Oscar to get his life together more than What's up? Golden Boy should do something? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for sure, show man. What's up with your boy Jaime Mungil? Since we on the conversation, the Golden Boy, bro. That ain't what's what? my boy in like four fights. <laughs> <laughs> what's what? What's, what's, my fault, y'all. My fault. My fault, y'all. Soup. That boy got a shield up. My, my boy Soup told me to tell everybody what's up, and he it pains him. It pains him to say this, but he thinks Devin Haney's going to dominate Lomachenko. Cause if y'all don't know, my friend Super Ugly was a big Lomachenko fan. He was one of oh, those black man. guys. We we <laughs> we gonna we gonna continue to bash Lomachenko, huh? That's what we doing. Yeah, but we gonna get it to hey, you. I'm mad that I I'm, even I'm brought tell, it up, but I had I'm to. I'm gonna tell y'all like this, bro. Ain't no bullshit. Lomo, I'm giving Loma that fight last night. Whether we we scored it the way we scored it or not. Uh, hey, get it, get off your high horse, dog. This is <laughs> this is the truth. I scored that I don't fight. Think that. I, 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 it was on. a draw. Let me get it out. Let me let me get it out. I scored the fight a draw. But at the same time, you got to look at it like Loma is the A-side. Whether we like it or not, he was the A-side. So the fanfare was going to go in his favor. Loma, it was too many. Jermaine Ortiz left too many swing rounds for it to go either way. So that the like I said, the only it was only one ref I didn't like. But the 115-113 is not bad. It's not a robbery. So I can give Loma, Ortiz, I mean, Loma Chango that fight. But what I will say about Ortiz is he put the 135 division on notice. That was his first 100, that was his first 12 round fight. If that boy could have got one to two, just if he could have got one 12 round fight in before that or two. So he he know what to expect and have that energy going into that fight. He could have beat, he could have beat the brakes off of Loma. I guarantee you Loma would never rematch him again. I put money on it. Loma would not take that fight again. And even looking at that fight, we can know without a shadow of a doubt, him going into this Devin fight, he don't have a chance to beat Devin. He don't have a chance to beat Shakur. I don't even think he have a chance to beat Tank. If Tank was smart right now, I'd be the best. Wait, player. wait, wait, wait. You don't think? What you want me to say? Tank, Tank will beat that man. Bro, I don't have faith in Tank like you got faith in Tank. Tank ain't fighting nobody. Oh, hello, hello. Talk to him. I don't want to hear none of that shit. No, no, no. Until Tank, nigga, until Tank fight somebody, I don't want to hear Tank go smoke, friend. bro. I, I, I don't. Wow. 
I mean, bro ain't lying though. It, I mean, I and I want to say this too. I when he fight somebody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. I'll pray stay ready boxing, goddamn me, because. <laughs> that man for real, bro. He ain't lying. Bro, bro ain't lying. He ain't told not one lie. And I want to say this too, man. Motherfuckers act like Lomachenko wasn't just out the ring for damn near a year. You know what I'm saying? He he didn't look like the Lomachenko we seen last year versus Cole May. You know what I'm saying? The man just had to go through a whole motherfucking me transition watching his people get killed and die you know what i'm saying now 